Has there ever been a moment when you have been walking on eggshells or afraid that you will say the wrong thing and that you're going to trigger someone and that things are all of a sudden going to explode? And if you have, it's something that is part of life and it's something that we have to deal with and we can't run from it. And some people will say, well, just leave the situation, just do something else. But leaving the situation is as worse as not doing nothing at all. One, because you have not acknowledged where you stand. You have not acknowledged where this whole thing is coming from. For instance, you may have roommates, family, friends, or just co-workers that really get on your nerves. And you either walk away, argue, or the worst thing you can do is join them. Join them at their game. But you have to understand at some point that this is not a game and this is not going to be played how you want to be played. It's not a game of chess in all the pieces that you are trying to battle, trying to win and get to the other side and feel triumphant just because you feel that you want to be the winner. You will not be the winner and you're not going to make things easier for yourself. And at the moment, this is how I'm feeling. And I've caught myself and I'm thinking, man, what kind of person am I becoming? I I just moved here and things are kind of crazy. But yet again, it's interesting having a dynamic with all these roommates because we all get along, but sometimes things go wrong. And sometimes we have these expectations about people. Like you want them to be some way and you want to keep the house a certain way but we are all different and we have different beliefs, different standards and different ways of viewing things. That's when you have to learn, hey, I gotta, you know, let things go and let things be. And these are the two things that are essential to continue this journey, whether it's for you, whether it's for me, it's just necessary to keep the peace. And since I live in the city, I don't know if you live in the city or in the suburbs, but things are a little fast. You gotta hear, you hear the trains a lot. You feel like you gotta go do a lot of things because there's so much to do. You feel like you can't stop and you can't take a break or you can't have focus because your mind is thinking all of these things. And things start to happen for me because I stopped meditating as soon as I got moved to a new environment before it was just me, my boyfriend, and my puppy. Now it's a lot of people and there's so much going on that I haven't kept myself in check and noticed what is going on inside of me and all because I've been busy doing so much and then social media, it's gotten my attention and I haven't taken a break to, hey, listen to myself and listen to my body and see how I feel and now I'm getting to notice these things and it's like man I don't know if you think that meditation or mindfulness is important for you but it is for me it gives me a time to reflect and think of things as an observer because I like to observe how things are playing out I haven't had the time to take a step back and do that I've been observing I've been watching but then again my emotions have gotten the best of me. I've been falling into that trap or rabbit hole thinking, oh, I need something. I need something to feel better. I need a glass of wine. I need a glass of something. And that is not healthy. And I've just been thinking, oh, I gotta eat. I gotta eat some donuts. I gotta eat some junk. And it's not good for your body. It just makes you feel more tired. But the thing that I've been doing is working out and trying to get all those thoughts, all those emotions out in a healthier manner and making this video obviously help. When you are faced with a situation with different people and different challenges, how you react to their anger or their rage is up to you. How you react to their emotions towards you is up to you. It's not their fault that you feel this way it's your fault because you should keep yourself in check you should know how you feel and you should talk about it some people just remain 
static or stagnant and don't want to say how they feel but it's always important to express that emotion to let it out if you don't let it out it's gonna come out in other forms of anger pain resentment you're gonna deal with it in other ways and it's not gonna be healthy and it's not gonna help and you're never gonna know what would have been the reason if you would have talked about it what would have you got what what have you gotten out of it i think that's the problem with our society we want to be competitive and we want to win and we want to be known that we are the top dog but do you really want to win is it that much important for you to win a battle that is not even a battle it's more of something that's going on within inside of you and maybe because you feel a little hurt you want to make other people hurt it's, that's that's what's going on here that's why people are lashing out at each other because when someone feels pain they just want to hurt you they just want to get revenge that's all they think they're gonna feel better but they're not I feel like I'm in the trenches and I'm trying to get out and there's nothing wrong with that so if you ever feel like you're trapped that you're stuck in a situation you're not trapped you're not stuck you just have to find a way out of it or become the observer and not react to people's actions and the things that I love to do when I'm not worrying about what's going on around here is finally go outside, get some fresh air, have a cup of coffee, enjoy what life has given me and just journal all these positive aspects and most importantly where am I in the emotional scale and where are you in the emotional scale? Do you feel at the bottom? Do you feel like you're at the bottom? Do you feel like you're at the middle? Or do you feel like you're on the top with elation and happiness? Or are you feeling very content with yourself? Do you feel happy where you're at? These are things that we must evaluate along the way because when we don't evaluate these things, we grow very comfortable and however, we're not happy with life. And if you're not happy with life, then you strip the joy right out of life. And you strip the joy out of yourself. Your thoughts, your actions, your words have a big impact in other people's lives. In a negative way, in a positive way. We can all be the bigger person and watch our intentions, our reactions, and how we can actually help someone that is going through a hard time instead of going deep down into the trenches and falling down with them and having this nasty behavior that will not only hurt you but will hurt everyone else and just be aware and conscious of where those thoughts are taking you in life and redirect them to where you want to go in the future in a positive manner that will do good for you some people think oh we can get you know if i just stay home i will have to face people and i can live happily ever after but people are a part of who we are people are the types that are going to help us grow people are going to teach us and show us how we are behaving they're going to reflect what we don't like and they're going to show things that we do like and they're going to make us feel motivated to get up in the morning and yet they're going to make us feel angry and sad but that's the only way you're able to gauge those emotions living alone makes you feel comfortable living alone is something that people love and that being and living alone is totally different. When you're alone, you're content, you're happy. But once you're amongst the crowd, you feel like you have various communities and you feel like you're able to express yourself and tell people what you know or tell people what you've accomplished and just have a good time. People are not all bad and we may think that sometimes. They can be our teachers, they could be our students, they can be our guides, or they can just be a health coach, whatever you want. But we all have a role to play because we are all 
a part of the whole and if you don't believe like you're a part of this whole tapestry of things then you gotta look deeper within everything because life is not what it seems and there is more to life than you think.